Nerds Talking, the podcast. Yo, we talk about lightsabers, stunning your TV screens, what you want to stream, everything beyond your dreams. Want to talk about movies, sports, or even politics. Go ahead and tune in to us. We'll give you all of it. Whatever you debate, next box of PlayStation, Marvel the DC, Mac or PC. Terra flops when the movie drops, gigabytes, chips, RAM. No matter what it is, we got all of it. Welcome to the show. Nerds Talking, the podcast. Welcome to Nerds Talking, the podcast. I'm here with Carlos, Johnny, Marie, and I'm Lafayette. Thanks for tuning in. Another exciting week in the world of Nerds Talking, the podcast. I mean, I started the week off with a brand new phone, the Google Pixel 6 Pro. Um, very coveted phone. Hard to find. I found it at 1T Mobile. Thank goodness. It's pretty cool. Um, of course, everybody loves the 5G. Everybody has a 5G phone, I take it, right? Yeah, one here about COVID, of course. Oh, that's right. I forgot 5G did cause COVID at first. That's right. People were tearing down 5G cell towers. That's right. That's right. Were they? Yeah. I don't remember that. Yeah. You don't remember that, huh? Yeah. yeah, people tore down 5G. This is in the UK. They tore down 5G cell towers saying that 5G was the reason COVID exists because it was omitting COVID in the air. I feel like the conspiracy people are all in America, though. I didn't know they were <laughs> no, across no. the pond. That was across the pond thing. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it was here, but over there, they're tearing down cell towers. Yeah, and Brexit, Brexit, Brexit. But um, yeah. So that's how I started the week. A new cell phone, Johnny. How was your week? My week wasn't bad. Uh, last week, the wife went to Las Vegas for three days, so it was me and the baby alone. That go. I was fucking terrified, <laughs> and uh, I mean. She's still alive, right? She's still alive. She's still walking. But uh, it was like, I know that I'm not a great dad. Of the three days that my wife was gone, she had fast food three days. (laughs) (laughs) So you'd say you're not a great dad. You sound like a very fun dad to me. (laughs) Well, I mean, obviously, I got her fries and a toy every day. But you're my favorite dad I know. Can I be your kid? (laughs) But I know it's not a good diet for a kid, but she just loves the fries. And my favorite part is a kid. It's not really a kid. Your child's one. <laughs> You're talking like this kid is five. <laughs> Was I? You could tell she didn't say it, but I could see the joy on her face. How many times did you come home on those three days to check in on her? Like, oh, you're doing well. You're doing I just, well. I'll be back. I just let her let her out the pee, and then uh, you know let yeah. the dog <laughs> let the dog take care of the baby. <laughs> did you buy a litter box? Have her just sit her in there. No, I just let her shit on the floor. I like well, diapers. God damn it, man! <laughs> like wow, you just, bad. oh shit, <laughs> yeah, did you get them. <laughs> oh man, yeah. So uh, th- that was interesting. I was glad uh, when the wifey came home and uh, when she took, walked through the door. The back. When, yeah, when she walked through the door, you're like, ah, this is why I married you. Here, take this. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I yeah, mean, yeah, honestly, yeah. like I was expecting a bigger reaction from the baby, but um, oh, the, uh, so the, the TV... wife doesn't give her McDonald's and toys every day. Oh, no, no, but and uh, the, well, the TV was on the whole time, too. Oh, yes, yes, so for three days, three days straight, Coco Melon, oh, and, goddamn, uh, Coco Melon, French fries, yeah, and French fries, and French fries, you know, potatoes are the number one vegetable for children, <sighs> it's a horrible thing for because kids of French to fries. Eat. Yeah, Johnny, what did you get at McDonald's though? Make On day one, <laughs> I was I, I've been uh, really liking the quarter pounders lately. So you got all three days? You had quarter pounders? No, because sometimes we we went to McDonald's for breakfast, so it was quarter, <laughs> quarter pounders or sausage and make I love this. I love this. No, no, I love this we thing. Like she had a choice. That's she what I mean. Her into a Again, chair like she's five years drove. old. <laughs> what do we, you want? For- dinner we we both okay. decided <laughs> we both decided on the happy meal six piece chicken nugget um I, that's my favorite i just imagine there it's like 6 p.m he has her on the lap on the sofa watching netflix looks at her pizza huh yeah pizza night <laughs> she, has no, she can't respond he's like he's like yeah we agree oh, man. Blink, on you your want- face says you want extra pepperoni <laughs> that's, that's what <laughs> <I ever said. laughs> like Oh, that's yeah. pretty good. 
pretty good. I feel so like my, yeah. my my parenting skills right now are for when she's like four. Yeah. What's what do you give yourself a grade wise for those three days? She's alive. <laughs> so <laughs> passing. Plus, yeah. Low standard. Oh, oh, she's so. like uh, she's like in, in when they give you like something to take care of in elementary school, like an egg. Can you take this home for the weekend and bring it back? What I can do is buy a brand new egg. On... <laughs> buy a dozen is what you do. <laughs> you come back with you came back with scrambled eggs. Yeah, that would be funny. Like the wife comes back and there's a new baby. Like, this one's only half Asian. Why are eyes so round? Uh, okay. So yeah, that was my yeah. week. What a week, Carlos. How was your week? Well, I'm gonna ask around the room here after I'm. So we're headed to Starbucks and I'm trying to teach my wife some slang, right? So I say to her, what do you got on my latte? And she's like, what do I got? What? What do you got on my latte? She didn't understand what I was saying. So I had to call Lafayette to explain what it meant. Now, Johnny, do you know what that means when somebody says, hey, what do you got on my whatever? I base it off of uh, the movie Friday. What you got on my 40, homie? And that just that just means... You're going to give me money to pay for my 40. Exactly. You're going to buy what I'm asking for. So you were just basically telling the wife to buy me a latte. Yeah, exactly. And so it doesn't sound in there. It doesn't sound your gangster. Wife super right? young. Mo, he called me though. And to, to like confirm. And it was in the, it was probably like what? What, what time was it? 7 30 in the it morning. 7 30 in the morning. I was getting ready for work. I think it was a Monday. Was it a Monday or it Sunday? It was a Monday. A Monday, I was taking a crap, and um, I, I I was looking on my phone. Oh, and I answered such a it. relief. I'm glad. You're, <laughs> yeah. Wow, telling your uh, voice totally yeah. scared me. <laughs> you didn't. You didn't have to look at a calendar for that, man. <laughs> no, no. And uh, and uh, he said that to me right away. I was like, yeah, that means you're gonna get them. You're gonna, you're gonna buy the latte for him. And all I thought is, well, like when you're at, say, you're at uh, like at a bar or something, Seven Eleven or at a bar, and you look at Jardy and and you're like, what do you want to drink? Oh, you got me, bro. Yeah, I got you. I got you. That's all the same thing. You got me like the same thing. Hey, you're going to get a lot to hey, you got me, right? Like there's no difference. She didn't get that, though. She was told that because she's oh. only like 18. So <laughs> so it doesn't we just doesn't, turned. Maybe yeah, I'll order bread. It's amazing what you can get in a catalog from Russia. Yeah, it doesn't Believe connect. <laughs> doesn't really connect uh but um that postage is a bitch though son of a bitch but what is postage for mail <laughs> order brides oh yeah 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 yeah. i understand i understand yeah what do you got on my rock star oh, i got you don't worry about it but uh yeah so that yeah i remember that call so your coffee yeah anything else for the week though besides your coffee oh man Spider-Man wait before before we go for, yeah before we go for the rest of the week how does that feel being that far apart generationally to to the wife where she doesn't understand some of the like i'm gonna be honest with you it makes me think like i'm smart and she's super dumb <laughs> <laughs> like how do you I, not know this <laughs> but my favorite part is is that's your that's your bar you know <laughs> your bar is set on like little things like that you know not like <laughs> anything really smart it's just like no man i'm like I'm gonna turn you. Uh, no, it's like I'm gonna teach you some slag. Like, no, I'm like you're super dumb. Jesus Christ. So no, like when I talk about shit, like that one conversation we had on the show about the monkeys. She doesn't know what the monkeys is. Surprised she knows who the Flintstones are. So every time I bring something old up, and she goes, I don't know. I just think to myself, God, you're so dumb. <laughs> So, well, no, I'm good with it. I'm fine. And and a monkey recently passed away. If you guys aren't, oh, Mike Nesmith, Rest Mike Nesmith, who was basically Rest like the centerpiece of the monkeys. No, wrote, Davy Jones. Davy no, Jones no, no, Davy Jones. No. When you think Ned of the monkeys, Smith wrote most of the songs. Of, it doesn't matter if you wrote the songs. Davy was what you thought of when you thought of the monkeys. No, one hundred percent. Listen, absolutely. Dave, Dave, Thank you. Di- Dave nope. didn't. He didn't even sing most of the songs. Most of the songs were sung by the drummer. I know that, but it's 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 what do you call the Mandela effect, where you think that Davy is like the star, where Davy sang most well, of the songs, and he was he the didn't. star when it comes to uh, uh, the the appearance of the monkeys. He really was a star. He was definitely he was the, the pretty uh, boy. He was a front wait, What man. does Nelson Mandela have to do with the monkeys? Well, the Mandela <laughs> effect. The Mandela. Watch effect. YouTube. Not Nelson Watch Mandela. YouTube. You're so dumb. You're so dumb. <laughs> yeah, Carlos is smarter than you. You stupid. You're so stupid. Uh, <laughs> you got me, bro. So I got you. I got All you. Right. 
Um, yeah, but yeah, you got no. him in smarts. Yeah, but, um, smart, it's it's Michael Nesmith, right? Is that what Michael it is? Michael Nesmith. His mom Nesmith. invented, invented the whiteout. Whiteout. That's right. And, and didn't she also invent post-it notes or just whiteout? I think it's just whiteout, right? But he I didn't know, even need a to ton be a of monkey. money. No, he was. Yeah, he was loaded. He was loaded. Yeah, uh, he left. Matter of fact, monkeys. he left the monkeys for that reason. Because oh, he also left the monkeys because he thought they were taken as a joke, and he wanted to be a serious musician. Yeah, they look at the left. contract, and there's all this white out on there. Hey, fuck, <laughs> what the fuck, dude? <laughs> fuck your mom, Mike. Who jizzed, who jizzed on this paper? My mom made that jizz, bro. <laughs> you got me. For the last <laughs> like, what? But the last year or so, he's been touring with Mickey Dolenz as a monkeys. No, no, they tour. did as a monkeys duo. Well, because monkeys the other two tour, passed yeah. away. Okay, okay, you know. Well, I know, but it took him a while for him to actually. It's like, oh fuck, a very long time. Peter yeah. and Davy are dead. I better yeah, get yeah. on this shit before I die. Yeah, and he was actually performing. He would perform in a chair. He like he could barely stand. Ooh, that's what uh, Bobby guy. Brown was doing. Either, oh, did you see Bobby? He's a big boy. Bobby Bobby's Brown a big was boy. struggling in the. Uh, Versus new edition, new, new kids. Uh, uh, oh yeah, the Battle of Boston performance. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, well, but I think I think you know he's wearing that red suit. Yeah, but I don't think it was red. I think it was a different color, but it was bursting at the seams, so it was kind of holding its breath to stay on him, so it was turning red. Yeah, I'm probably That's like that right on. now with my suits. Just, just <laughs> the buttons just don't want to. I'm like this. This button doesn't belong with this suit. <laughs> yeah, it's funny because when I see you in a suit. I stand off to the side on the sidewalk I'm like move everyone. It's a parade coming through. <laughs> so that's how I approach it. Anyway, said, Marie, how was wow. Marie? How wow. was your week? <laughs> Boring. OK, that's good. Thanks that's for thing. stopping by. That thing, <laughs> that thing happened in your week. You just um, you just do. What do you do on a day to day basis? <laughs> Nothing like Woody. What is the highlight? Wow. of your, What was the What's the wow. highlight of your week? Anything? I got my makeup that I ordered three weeks ago. Oh shit! Congratulations! Oh my god! You didn't, you didn't you didn't say all that. Look, everyone else, put your mics on mute. Marie, <laughs> tell me about this makeup. Ah, <laughs> uh, Marie, Marie, uh, Marie, Marie, takeover show. Tell us about makeup. What? Um, we know you wouldn't watch YouTube. We clarified that. I just discovered Static X, and I'm obsessed. Static X, the what? band. Yeah, I've seen them live. <laughs> I didn't discover them. I didn't discover them. My brother used to listen to them when we were younger, and he yeah, would always yeah. say, "You're so trendy, Marie. You're so trendy." So I always hated them. But they're pretty because, heavy, so I'm surprised that you. But really- they're like, but they're like, well, I like all kinds of music, but I like them because they're like really upbeat and aggressive. Yeah, no, I've seen them live once. Yeah, they're pretty. They're pretty heavy metal, fast. I like metal. Is there um, a uh, mosh pit at their concerts? Oh, yes. when they performed, oh yeah, it was a pretty big mosh pit too. They were, were my spitting. <laughs> so uh, you remember that, huh? <laughs> the goat. Yeah. Adam, <laughs> Sandler. Adam Sandler. Probably the They're funniest. They're all going to laugh at me. <laughs> that was a, yeah, that was the funniest bit. Probably one of the funniest that, bits I've CD ever heard. Funny. But that's, mm-hmm. that goat bit is, is uh, they fucking superimpose me. Uh, you button hooked me. You fucking <laughs> button hooked me. <laughs> so good. Oh, so good. We have to find that. Just tell people what CD it was to listen to because it's so. I still have it somewhere. It's laying oh, around here somewhere. So good. Um, yeah. Oh, so yeah. So this week you can go to the movies and watch Ooh, the most Spider-Man. anticipated movie of the year. Probably going to be the biggest blockbuster of 2021, even though it's the end of the year. Spider Man No Way Home. Also, you can watch the new uh, Guillermo del Toro movie Nightmare Alley. Check that one out as well. Hmm. Those both come out today. My but, neighbor um, offered me a free ticket to go see Spider Man in IMAX, and I said no. In exchange for why? Wait, why did you say no? Oh. Because I don't want to go see it. Oh, no, you silly, you, now, silly I guess, goose. I guess my silly question goose. to you though was, have you seen the prior ones? I saw the very first one with Tobey Maguire. Okay, so that doesn't count. Mm. So, oh, so you're so, 20, 20 years behind. <laughs> yeah, you're so. <laughs> what's the? What is the last superhero movie you've seen, Marie? Uh, involuntarily, I saw the Avengers. The first one. What? Yeah. Well, gotcha. Were you chained to a chair, like tied to a radiator? Well, I guess not. I mean, I could, I didn't have to stay there, but I was playing piano, and the piano was in the same room as my mom watching it, so it was just on. <laughs> <laughs> but did you watch it though? No, not really. Well, okay, there are, so, but I was asking, uh, I was asking questions about it. So you didn't really watch it though. I asked Marie, I didn't know you played the piano. 
I taught myself during COVID. Yeah, but you didn't really oh, so watch it's for you. Watch it. Yeah, I mean, you've, you've always had a, a, a liking towards pianists, but um... I like music. I don't know if you could tell. Ed, no, his he had a dirty joke. You hear the dirty joke? <laughs> you have a liking towards pianists. Get it, pianists. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Yeah, I know. Johnny's so mean. You are so dumb. He's that was a good so one, Johnny. Mean. Oh, you're so dumb. No, it, it mediocre. Oh, <laughs> mediocre. Oh, he she got you back. She that was for the future mediocre. future joke. Wow. Future joke. Future Anybody's joke. Looking for that, I'm, I'm so Anybody's looking for that Adam Sandler CD. It's called What the Hell Happened to Me? I wonder and if it's what, on Spotify. It, it probably is. And yeah, what sure number is. track is the goat? I have no idea. Oh, Isn't it's there a couple Carnegie. of goats? Just or the one. It just... It's a very long, what long is it one. He's like, uh, what the hell happened called? to me? When he talks about the knot, he's like, you better not yeah. uh, you <laughs> mention <better> that <laughs> again. <laughs> I just like the beginning when he, when he, they, they go to the, the guys like, you got to see this goat, man. You got to see this yeah. goat. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's a talking goat. Yeah. Hey, guys, what's up? Oh, you fucking guys. <laughs> <laughs> hey, where you going? Where you going? <laughs> Take me with you guys, huh? Take me with you. No, one time I huh? went to the uh <laughs> so good. All right, we'll take a break here on Nerds Talking the Podcast. Check out that Adam Sandler's uh disc. I'm pretty sure it's on all digital outlets. It's what on you said, it's called it's called What the Hell Happened what to Me. What the hell happened to me? What the hell happened yeah, to me? Yeah, it's yeah. funny as hell. The do- there's a doctor skit in there. Oh, it's so good. Oh, the uh, grandma with, and the cock and balls. I think it's with Norm McDonald. No, not oh, Norm McDonald. It's track five. Uh McDonald's. it's not Norm McDonald. Who's the other guy? Uh that uh, um come on it was uh another snl guy really funny he did the news also oh man what was his name david spade no no he's on there too, no the tall dude uh tall guy oh man now it's not coming to me he's he was funny i'm gonna get it i'm gonna get it it was funny man that's this great cast great cast i smell that time it was a lot of great cast but that was a good cast i just can't remember the guy's name well we'll Kevin think about it after Nealon? the break who? Kevin Nealon. Kevin, Kevin Nealon. Nealon. There you go. Good Kevin one, Marie. Yes. yes That's right. Yes. Good job, Marie. Marie gets a point. Thank All Google. Right. Oh, yeah. And then what's the other one? Spotify, sex, bro. sex or weightlifting? Ah. Yeah, that's Remember that one? Too. Gay sex or yeah, weightlifting? Yeah, 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 yeah. That's a good one. <laughs> yeah. I'm telling you, it's a great CD. It's a great comedy CD because they're all skits. You know, it's not like well, he has the songs stand-up. on there, too. Like this Hanukkah song. Is he on does. There. Does he have the and, red hooded? Uh, Red yes, red hooded sweatshirt. Red hooded sweatshirt on there. Yeah. There was another. The it was. It came across as a love song, but it was like a really ode to dirty. my car. That one. Oh, that yeah, one was a good, good one too. Yeah. Piece yeah. of shit. Piece of shit car. Oh, yeah. piece of shit and car. Respect. That's respect. Right. I think it was a love. Or memory yeah, lane. Shit car. Memory oh lane. my god, that was a good one. Oh my yeah, piece yeah, of yeah. shit car. Uh, I don't, now I'm going oh, to go back. Oh, to my car had like that reggae theme to it. Yeah, I have to go back and listen to that freaking. No, I remember in in high school I was playing it for my my girlfriend and. It's like I said, it started off as a love song, but then it was like talking about like shitting on me and like all this like dirty stuff. I'm like, what do you think, babe? No, I think it's memory lane. <laughs> what you think about? Uh, all right, we'll take a break here on Nurse Talking the Podcast. We'll be right back after this. Welcome to Three Dollars Down, a podcast where we discuss a wide variety of absolutely nonsensical topics, like whether or not fish are aliens or whether or not Santa Claus is a gigolo. And, with our musical recommendation segment at the end of every single episode, you may be able to find your new favorite song. So, sit back and relax and enjoy the podcast. Welcome back to Nerds Talking the Podcast here with Marie, Johnny, and Carlos, and I'm Lafayette. Thanks for tuning in. Remember to rate, subscribe, download, turn on notifications, tell your friends, and uh, check out the website. Is it live already? Is the website up? No, no, no. I said 2022. 2022. 2022. All right. Settle 2022. Down. Down. I, we've seen it. That's why we've seen it. It's uh, it's the very resolution. interactive. Your resolution. I never saw the, it. To the website. Yeah, it's very interactive. You can buy lottery tickets on it. You can order booze. For real? No, that's 7-Eleven app. But <laughs> we double as a 7-Eleven app. <laughs> so you can just use that as a yeah, 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 yeah. We should do that. The link should just take you to a different website. Nerds talking the podcast, and then it takes you to like uh, Macy's or some shit. People are so confused. And we can brag about how many hits we get on our website. <laughs> People are really going to Macy's. Not a bad idea. We got to yeah, get yeah. up, get the trick. numbers up. We got to trick the public like we are politicians. Political people trick everyone. 
Yeah, yeah. Like uh, that. Uh, what's that rapper? Pitbull. He has. He always says politics are politics. I'm like, mm. yeah. Well, put yeah. Pitbull uh, tells the truth even when he lies. So let's just settle down on that guy. Tells the truth even when he lies. What? Yeah, it's one of the lyrics from his song. Oh, is it? I like this tells guy. the truth even when I lie. Yeah. Pretty, so he's. So he lies so much that he thinks he's telling the truth. I mean, is that what it is? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or he cannot tell a lie and he just assumes he's telling a lie. I mean, I don't know. No, no, I'm going with the latter or the former. I'm sorry, know, the man. former. Pitbull. Yeah. He has some good songs, I guess. You know, I can't. Yeah, not too bad, I guess. Um, I mean, he makes fun dance music. Marie, you listen to music. Do you like Pitbull? No. Okay, there we go. Pitbull sucks. Bitch. All right. <laughs> um spider-man comes out today called far from home it has but i've seen pitbull live i'm sorry i'm hella late but i have seen him live <laughs> with who who who's performing with him do you remember no okay did you okay. pay for this yeah did no. you pay for this okay <laughs> of course not okay of course. did your neighbor offer of you a course. ticket <laughs> no an imax someone off someone had tickets for free and i was like of course live music why not you know what why not you know, why you know. not? That's not a song. It's not a song. Yes, no, it is. No, it's, it's not. By, I'll make this shit up. By that one chick. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You're right. Marie the loner. Sarah McLaughlin. <laughs> no, uh, the girl who played Lizzie McGuire. Hillary Duff. Yes. Hillary Duff. Uh, I don't Duff just beer. I'm not that creative. Yeah. Duff man. Okay. Spider Man. Anyway, Far Spider Man. Comes out today. Most anticipated movie, probably, like I said, all year. Um, what is the biggest movie you've seen this year? Is there a movie you anticipated that you really enjoyed this year? Was it like 007? Was it something that was streaming like King Kong versus Godzilla? Uh, are you looking forward to The Matrix that comes out Christmas Eve? What movie got you excited or is it Spider-Man? What is it? Anything off the top of your head that you saw this year that you're like, that was really good? Yes. Okay, Zack Snyder's Justice League. Okay, there you That's go. That's a good one. Absolutely, That's a good one. that was very a great good. Film. That was very, very great much film. anticipated, and what really helped HBO Max blow up. Um, and very yeah. groundbreaking in that, like I've never. I mean, the the whole circumstance was kind of weird, where he had the director leaves in the middle of it and comes back to finish right, it, right. and uh, never heard of before. And then, um, yeah, I mean, he, it was amazing. You know. The movie was good. His circumstances, of course, made a lot of sense why he left the film. Um, you know, he didn't have work. It wasn't really something that he wasn't kicked off the film. It was right. There was the no family. no controversy or anything like yeah, that. Yeah, it yeah, was just um, family issues. Unfortunate circumstances. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, but yeah, no, that one I agree with. That was very good. Marie, any movie you saw this year that you really enjoyed? I'm trying to think back and I can't remember any movies that I watched. This. Got it. Got any it. YouTube you know videos that yeah, Marie, any conspiracy YouTube. videos you've seen. Marie, can I ask, do you remember what happened yesterday? She's Why are you putting it. me on the spot like that? I like though how she just thought. <laughs> Why are you getting all personal yesterday? Oh, God damn it. <laughs> Why are you bringing up rained, bullshit? It rained. It rained. There you go. No, it didn't rain it, yesterday. It didn't it rain. It didn't yesterday. rain yesterday. Okay. Oh, Spider-Man. my. Spider Man. All right. Moving on. Back to Spider Man. <laughs> anyway, so the movie stars uh, Tom Holland, and uh, we got a bunch of villains in it. We have Electro, we have Sandman, we have Lizard, we have. Goblin, Green, Green Goblin. Goblin, we got Doc uh, Ock, Doc Ock, and we got um, so Doctor Strange, and Doctor Strange. we have a lot of oh, surprises in store. So, Johnny, what do you think is going to happen? Yeah, Johnny, what's your take on Spider Man? No Comes way out home. today. Well, I'm looking forward to it. Uh, anytime a movie like that comes out where there's previous ones, I'll spend the previous like uh, or preceding two weeks watching the old ones so i mm. saw spider-man one and two um this week and uh yeah i'm really looking forward to it um i don't know exactly what's gonna happen there, there's gonna be because peter parker's a, a good kid he's gonna try and do the right thing and uh that's what i always liked about spider-man or this por portrayal of spider-man he, he just wants the best for everyone while at the same time like be a kid you know so 
just going off the trailer so far, you know, like it sounds like the villains are all like destined to die and he's trying to prevent it type of thing. So I think he's going to save somebody. Now, Johnny, did you know, fun fact, that Spider-Man Homecoming had two meanings to the title? No. What are the meanings? For one, well, Homecoming, obviously the Homecoming was in the movie. He attended Homecoming with uh, MJ. And two, Homecoming. Wait, that wasn't MJ that he went to Homecoming with. He was it? did go to Homecoming. Oh, no, you're right. He didn't. But he went to Homecoming. That's right. So he went to Homecoming. Okay. And two, Homecoming meaning, welcome back to Marvel, Spider-Man. Welcome home. Okay. Came back to That's actually the main the main thing is that one. Yeah. Is the welcome back to Marvel. Shut up. The main thing I mean, I was uh, no, I was no, excited no, no. to, you know, when it when they did the reboot of it. But honestly, I like the amazing Spider Man. I mean, I, I like Garfield. The, uh, Garfield? Yeah, it wasn't yeah. bad. I mean, I like I, the... I liked the chemistry w- between him and Emma Stone. Yeah. And, yeah. And um yeah, they just decided to to quit. No offense to Kirsten Dunst, but Zendaya makes a better MJ, a better looking MJ. And Emma Stone definitely uh, higher on the on the ladder of good looking. Than so of the Kirsten three, uh, Kirsten Dunst would be on the bottom. Oh, she's yes. Absolutely. Mm-hmm. And I'd put Zendaya yeah. two and number one. is. Zendaya. But she's more, more of a curvaceous MJ. Uh, I mean, some people Ooh, like boobs. Kirsten Dunst? Yeah, she's she's no, got nice, Emma, nice the, boobies. The problem with, uh, the, the but problem they didn't, they didn't, they didn't show off Emma Stone. Like they, they showed they off Kirsten Dunst, and they had the 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 rain and the kiss yeah. and all that. And then we're talking about yeah. people. We're not talking about characters because Emma Stone played Gwen Stacy. She didn't play MJ. Right. So yeah. No, nah, but the problem is, is when we, oh, if but, you know MJ mm-hmm. in the comics and the cartoon. None she's of them match MJ. None of them. Yeah, they're supposed. She's supposed to be the tall, redheaded model, like the super hot, like popular girl in school. That, like, you know, she's like she's the hottest chick in school. Like I said, like Carlos said redhead. You and know, she's a model. It's her profession. And like she becomes a, a TV star. Yeah, out of Peter's league, like just completely out of his league. Oh, like, absolutely. Not even close. And um, it almost plays like. Remember that movie, Money Can't Buy Me Love. Mm-hmm. Where the super hot blonde cheerleader girl and uh, doc and Patrick Dr. Dempsey Dreamy. knows, yeah. yeah, that he'll never have a shot with her. That's basically how Spider Man is. Do you know the the actress to that is dead? Like just doing oh, the no whole like Google search or whatever. She had, she ran into some legal troubles afterwards, and uh, she got a DUI that might have killed somebody or hurt somebody or something like that. Did she and killed she, herself. Uh, it might have been overdose. Let me check. Oh. Hmm. So, okay, so um, who makes a better Gwen it, Stacy though? The chick from the Tobey Maguire films or Emma Stone? You're talking about uh, what's her name? Um, the one from Jurassic Park. I no, I know name. it's what Ron Bryce Howard's Dallard. daughter. Bryce, Bryce, Dallard. Bryce, Bryce Howard. Howard was it? Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh. I would say that Bryce is a better looking Gwen Stacy. Um, at that age when she played the part, at that age, right? Absolutely. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, so I don't know. We can't. I mean, she wasn't really in the movie that much. So Emma Stone is no, a major no, no. character in Amazing Spider-Man. But Emma Stone's a pretty good-looking girl. Oh yeah, yeah. But I don't care for Zendaya's MJ, meaning the way they portray her. I don't like her sarcasm. It's yeah, just, I don't like the. I don't like the, that at all. I think it's horrible. No, no. I think it's dumb. Um. Uh, even in the preview of this new movie, she comes off super snarky and well, yeah. right. Like when Doc, it's in, just in the preview, so I don't. It could be out of context or whatever. But when Doctor Strange said Scooby do this or something like that, and she goes, "Well, I know a couple of magic words." Please, being one of them, I'm like, "Are you serious?" He's asking you to fix this because something went wrong, and you're asking him to say, "Please." You're asking an Avenger, a supreme. Uh, but but that ties in with their character very uh, sarcastic no very... it is that's just it that's all right but if i was dr strange i'd be like zip it and put a you know put something oh, over her mouth for like, sure Shut yeah. up. i mean the thing about oh, her I'm... character is she is the opposite of what mj is like complete right. opposite Absolutely. of what mj Absolutely. is um 
and then they but they also try to play it like she's the ugly duckling in a sense where oh she can look good when she wants but she doesn't care to look like dressed up or anything you know what i mean but what's I think funny what is that was. they didn't hit you with the oh my friends call me mj until the end of the first movie right well, because remember, like, oh, you're you're supposed to yeah, be Mary Jane because they kind of played oh. it off that she wasn't Mary Jane at first. Right. And then all of a sudden, all my friends call me MJ. But I don't think her name is Mary Jane. Right. I can't remember. But it's no Michelle or something or other. Yeah. Right. So they just call me MJ. So they could definitely introduce a Mary Jane if they wanted to. But it's kind of late for that. It is too late so, for that. Yeah. Well, it's they're only going to do one more anyway. Right. No, 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 no. He's on They've for three more now. now. A second no. trilogy with Tom Holland. Yeah, he's on for three because more. Because last year they were like fighting to even make the Look, third one. So I think I don't know what's going on with that, but Sony would be so stupid to take this away from Marvel. Marvel is making oh, them agree. free money because they own the rights to Spider Man. So Marvel's making these movies at no cost. Although Marvel does want Sony to pick up the cost because they're getting paid for basically doing nothing. So Sony wants them to pick up a percentage of it but at the same time sony's like well we can just take the character away from you like ah you got a point we will well, make so movies. so the word is that tom holland told them he didn't want to do any more movies if marvel wasn't involved because sony wasn't going to involve marvel oh, okay and then marvel basically told kevin feige hey you got to make these movies and they said yeah okay we're going to continue making them for you but the, the whole idea is that the next three movies it won't be it won't be tied into the Marvel universe, meaning there won't be other characters from the Marvel universe. It'll be separate, a separate Spider-Man trilogy. You won't see Doctor Strange and so on and so forth in his next movie. It's going to be, I think, very Venom driven type of movies. I think Venom will cross over into it. Um, but remember, we haven't seen it yet. So, you know, we'll see it all tonight or this weekend and we'll get back to you on it. We'll give you guys a good, good, nice little review. But um well, yeah, definitely. But if you look at all, the, but if you look at the previous Spider-Man movies, it's true. I mean, you have Iron Man, right? He's you have Iron. I mean, you do have other Avengers to carry this movie. So I'm curious how it's going to do with a strict Spider-Man movie. Oh, know? it'll be just fine. Tobey Maguire did well. I mean, up until three, three was garbage. Mm-hmm. Andrew Garfield, the first one, Amazing Spider-Man, was great. I loved it. The second one, not so much. So I'm just curious how it's going to do with just the Spider Verse. Nobody else, just no Happy, right? No other Avengers, just mm, Spider. That's hard though to do a movie without Happy though, right? Because Happy is now his his go to guy, right? Yeah, Happy is hey, I need help. Can you give me this? But so we'll see. Um, it's not it, well, it's not that difficult. It really isn't not that difficult because again, he has such a large rogue gallery and so many other characters and within his universe, and he can introduce again Miles Morales and. He can even introduce Gwen Stacy, Spider Man, whatever. What Gwen, Gwen, Spider Gwen, and blah blah. Well, There's so many things. Miles can do. was hinted at, in part. Was it part two? Was Miles was hinted at? Uh, I don't know which one was. How's uh, that? Gambino and Childish Gambino. Which one was he in? That was in part two. Part two, right? So he's the cousin of Miles. Oh, he that's right. That's right. He, he even is the cousin of Spider Man. Oh, my cousin lives here. I need to go. That's right. That's right. right. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's right. You're right. 100%. Yes, 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 yes. So I did uh, not know that until yeah, yeah, yeah. just now. No, what but, I would like uh, to see, yeah. though, what I'd like to see, though, is if they do a strictly Spider Verse movie, is go back to the original suit. I mean, no Iron Suit, no help from Iron Man. No, you know, you know what I'm saying? Just strictly Spider Man. I want to see the original suit. I want to see strictly Spider-Man. If that's how they're going to go, just let me see that. I, I would like to see, see that for help. a portion of it, but I mean, for Do you like the Iron Spidey suit? Do you like the other stuff? I mean, I like in part two, just to be able to fight all the drones with a, a web and your your Peter Tingle. Oh, right. Sure. I sure. mean, I I just uh, yeah. There's just no way that could have happened. Uh, you guys like my lipstick? Um. Well, yeah, you kind of look like the Hobgoblin. It's um, purple. <laughs> uh, is it easy to, to get off? I'm just thinking about it. Yeah, because your next date is not going to be there. What's what that? Is, what color is that? Purple? It's called throwing up cereal. Okay. Purple. Throwing Jesus. up what? Cereal? Purple. cereal. She put on purple mm. lipstick during our Spider-Man segment because she knows nothing about Spider-Man. 
I well, she she did too. she did see. What do you know Spider-Man about Spider Man? Tell us what you know about Spider Man. He gets bitten by a spider. Okay. And becomes Spidey. Spider Man. Okay, yeah. we're and gonna he take a saves break. Saves Gotham here. City. <laughs> oh yeah! <laughs> oh yeah! I was waiting for something to go off, Absolutely. and that was You're it. Right. It went right off the rails. You're right, he and it Commissioner was going... Gordon got Gotham City unlocked. Going yeah. so good. <laughs> yes. uh, oh yeah, I know a lot about Superman. Didn't he land on a farm and then like he ended up under the water? He could talk to fish. Good job, Marie. Good job, you. All right, we'll take a break here on Nerds Talking to Podcast. We'll be I'm right back. I'm throwing up cereal right now. After this. Hey there, podcast listeners. This is Ben. And this is Alex. And we want to take a quick second to tell you about our show. It's called That Gaming Podcast. I'd uh, like to keep it simple for you. We know you're very busy with your schedules. So every Friday, we release just a 30-minute long episode. That's right. And we actually uh, give our top five takeaways on the PlayStation and Nintendo games that we're playing. That Gaming Podcast is found on all your favorite podcast apps. See you Friday. Welcome back to Nerds Talking the Podcast. I'm here with Carlos, Marie, Johnny, and I'm Lafayette. Christmas is coming up next week. Have you guys ever done a white elephant party and got gifts and so forth and traded and, and what's the best thing you got, the worst thing you got, and... Do you remember that? Have you participated in them? Anybody? Carlos, go. Oh, wait. I know Carlos is go. Good Lord. What? The oh. gift you gave. The oh, uh, yeah. I gave an autographed headshot of myself eight years ago at a white elephant gift at work. And it continues to go around. It's the gift that keeps on giving. Yeah, what's funny is that someone actually took, I mean, you know how you're supposed to get a white elephant gift and someone can steal it. And then, you know, the other person gets to pick again. It's actually got stolen twice. It's actually got taken twice. I was kind of surprised, but it's all in the fun. It's all in the fun. Now, do you recall the one year you tried to record a song? As a oh, I was going to do a karaoke disc for the following year. It was uh, yeah. White Wedding, right? Was it White? I don't know. I don't remember. Yeah, it, was, song. it was a Billy Idol was song. Yeah, I think it was oh, yeah, White sure. Wedding. And uh, we recorded it twice i think we tried to record it well it we tried to record so it numerous times and we probably got well, one version said that sounded like oh it was frog. it was really it bad like the frog. <laughs> it was really bad <laughs> i'm talking well, like that gift didn't go that gift no didn't go. that didn't go anywhere i still have it so i'll share it on the website when it opens up but uh, <laughs> yeah yeah, yeah so yeah, no yeah, no yeah. no Oh, white no uh it's funny i've already participated in one white elephant and it was actually at carlos's old place he had oh yeah that's right and we had a bunch of people from our indoor soccer team almost the whole team was there yeah and we did a white elephant thing and um still don't recall what i got but it was a good time but johnny how about you uh yeah i've been to a couple of them they're they're pretty fun i i feel bad sometimes because inevitably there's going to be per one person that brings it like a terrible gift and then people mm -hmm. are just talking shit the whole time. And then like, if they actually put some effort into it, for example, we went to one party and um, one of the, the girl uh, white elephant gift was an igloo, you know, like the dog house, but the it's cooler? shaped like, Oh, it's, it's shaped like an igloo. Right. Right. It's right. A, it's a dog house, but she was thinking, Oh, you know, so-and-so has cats or whatever. So this will be a good gift for them. And, uh, we just talk shit about that thing all How night. How do you long. wrap that and not know what it is? I mean, you could tell it was a big ass igloo. <laughs> right, it's huge. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so there was no surprise there, but the look on her face, like by the end of the night, after just hours of talking shit, I'm like, I'll tell you what, I'll give you a thousand bucks if you take this igloo off my hand. That type of thing. Like, <laughs> when you make comments like that and people feel bad, because she actually kind of put some effort into it, but it was a terrible gift. Uh, for me, I think that year I, I gave out Boys to Men um, Christmas album and uh, New Edition Christmas album. What did you end up with? I don't remember. You don't remember? Yeah, I don't remember. What's funny is about my headshot, I put it in the biggest box I could find. So then it looked like, oh, whoever took it, oh, I'm getting a super big gift. And then they opened it and it was a little tiny. Well, it I wasn't don't tiny, think but it was an 8 not, by 10 No, I think frame. you did it out of a... Uh... You had to fit your ego in that box. Marie, you got there. Right. <laughs> um, <laughs> how about you, white elephant? Do you remember anything you got or given? What about this? Hold on. 
What is that one called? You put a black lipstick on now. Vomiting so my jaded. face. Oh, yeah, you are What's jaded. It called? It's jaded. so jaded because it's oh, green. Oh, so it's, it's green. It's what green. do you think about white elephant? Did you I went a, to one uh -huh. a few years ago and uh, I did a, I brought a $10 Jamba Juice cup. There you go. <laughs> but see, and at a white I elephant, up, that's, that's a good gift. That's a good that gift. Work. No. Yeah. No one yeah, yeah, wanted yeah. it. But really? I went last. Really? I went last. You went you last. Took your own. And so mm -hmm. I got El Himidore. El uh, Himidore. What's that? Like sure. a, it tequila? was like the te tequila. Yeah, it was a tequila oh, with a glass. Gotcha. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, okay, okay. You know, I did go to yeah. one white elephant get one one white elephant Christmas party, and someone brought a dildo. Oh yeah. And that thing got stolen. Like I guess the top you you can make the rules yourself. So how many times it gets stolen? But I guess their rule was three times. That thing got stolen three times. Hmm. Yeah, that someone is, really wanted it. I mean, that that's uh hours of entertainment right there. I mean, like yeah, damn right. <laughs> how do you know? Even <laughs> I'm saying during the, the party, because you can make jokes and like, oh, I'm gonna go ahead and take this. I, I didn't mean hours of entertainment, like I'm gonna use it. Would you take it just as a joke to see if anybody else would take it and nobody would take it just because they want to leave you with it? What color is it? Ah, yes. Does yes. it matter, right? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> uh -huh. It was yellow. What does it smell like? It had a little cape on it. It's a super mm -hmm. dick. <laughs> uh, white, yeah, white elephant parties. And then, like I said, I haven't really, I've probably only done two. One for work years ago. And the one I, I have no idea what I got and what I gave. And there was a limit, like 20 bucks, I think. And um, still have no clue, though. Um, and then uh, Marie talked about ugly sweaters. And she's wearing one now. So, um. Do you have ugly Christmas sweaters? I don't. I don't. I've never bought one of those ugly Christmas yeah, sweaters. That's never been my thing. No, Same I've here. No, never. And I dumb. have one, but it was my grandma's, and it was more like that sweatshirt material, and it was really cute. Somebody one time gave me a Lakers sweater, and I thought it was ugly. That's ugly. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so uh, um, I don't ask. So why'd you give me an ugly sweater? Like, what do you mean it's Lakers? I know. So uh, we're not just gonna move <laughs> on from your, <laughs> you are gonna move your on. terrible opinion, are we? Yeah, well, we what's, are. what's funny about the white the, the ugly sweater, like you know how they do the ugly sweater parties? I think it's dumb because the ugly sweater sweater party should be something that you can buy. But some people will just put shit on a sweater and you know try to make it as gaudy and ugly as they can. I don't think that really counts, man. That's kind of like I don't know. It's kind of cheating because you would never wear that sweater again. It's not really wearable after that, right? But like a regular ugly, ugly sweater that you buy from the store, you can wear that shit again, right? Because I saw somebody at a restaurant one time and he was wearing, um, I'm guessing it was an ugly sweater because it had Jesus on it and he was holding a balloon with a birthday hat on and said birthday boy. How dare it's you funny as shit. I mean, that's a great Christmas sweater. What about this color? What color is that, Maureen? Restraints. The, oh, I thought it was called interrupt you while you're talking. You oh, know, I didn't know you. Marie, you see you're talking. She's paying attention. Marie's doing her makeup during the show, I'm and uh, she finally has an audience. So she's like, "I gotta show this off because this is going all on Facebook." It's she does makeup and she puts it all over Facebook, and uh, she loves the Facebook. And Marie, do you get a lot of comments and feedback on your Facebook posts? Depends on what it is. The Let's answer say, is no, Marie. Your last <laughs> one, what for instance, family's doing that day. Like the last makeup <laughs> the one, did you on? get any feedback or posts? Um, not the last one, but the one before that, I had tagged a drag queen that I stole their makeup from, and he's kind of famous. And he commented and he said, "Gorgeous." Okay, were you were you excited about that? Yes, heck yeah. Yeah, you like drags. We've talked about this. It's your, it's think, your thing. Now, people get excited when celebrities answer, you know, answer their or put a comment on their stuff. But you do know, you think it's the actual person or do you think people working for them at, in charge of their social media? I think it depends on how that. big they are. I do. I think that Marie's friend that did comment on probably her, did on him, comment. Right, yeah. right. Actually did comment on that post. Yes, I think Cause, so. Because I saw somebody who got a post recently put on their comment on Instagram from the rock but i'm thinking mm, that may have been the rock's people you know to someone who runs social media i don't know i feel but like then he, at the same time he's like he does yeah i, I mean feel like he's, he's doing the own, his lot. own videos like 
yeah. as far as like his videos it's him holding the phone up to himself he, he doesn't have a camera crew you know what i'm saying so but he does have somebody following him with a camera i mean you always yeah see well, like when he's doing like him. his working out stuff but like you know right, but or the... if he's waiting for his plane he's just standing there in the suit or well he definitely has an assistant 100 percent. he has somebody an assistant around him but he definitely is on social media himself a lot agreed i but do that believe mean he's answering i'm not saying he didn't but i'm just no, saying no it i think he, he I, I think because he, i the, the rock answered one of my comments one time and i'm gonna i'm gonna say it was a rock what, okay, what was it no, what was it yeah, uh it, it, goddamn jabroni thanks for answering my shit no it was um i he he made a comment or something like that and i was like it doesn't matter or no maybe it was a question it was like hey what do you guys think of my new shoes or whatever I'm like, it doesn't matter what your shoes look like and then uh <laughs> and the reply was like shut your mouth jabroni i was like oh i think that's him <laughs> and it came from his account yeah okay no, it wasn't him. Thanks. I think, it. I think if it's that was me. I think if it's generic, yeah, yeah, you know, it's it's I don't know. I feel like if it's a generic response, but don't take this away from me, guys. Come on. I do think celebrities <laughs> the see, rock think, talk to me. I think personally. I think for instance, the rock you whoever, you for your name in front of her. <laughs> whoever whoever like looks at his social media, she probably shows them. Oh yeah, check this one out. Oh that oh yeah, yeah. yeah write them back. Oh, write yeah, this. After this. Maybe, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, it's not like he's going through everything, but somebody may point like somebody I know. The Rock reposted his post of him drinking his tequila, and posted mm-hmm. it on his stories, and gave him a shout out. And I'm like, yeah, I'm pretty sure somebody showed it to him, or maybe he did see it himself going through the phone. You know, so that's a good um, way to get on on his social media right now is to drink his tequila, and... his energy drink, and everything. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah no, it's true. Yeah, or the tequila um, w- mixed with that energy drink. I wonder how that would be. Oh, I Let don't me know tell you about his good. tequila. His tequila okay, is. I tried it uh, this week, so try which it. Which one? The the his gold tequila? one. Yeah. Oh, the gold one. No, but the it's... silver one. Yeah. Okay. Smells exactly like Patron. Yep. Tastes exactly like Patron. So if you want a cheaper Patron, pick up Terramana because Terramana is maybe twenty dollars cheaper than Patron. Yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, here's the thing. It's it's made, I think, in the same place as as uh, Patron. Possibly just bottled in a different bottle. It's um, I forgot this. Uh, Juarez, Juarez, Mexico. Juarez, Mexico. Juarez, Juarez. Yeah, I think that's where it's uh, made. <laughs> he goes there quite often, actually. That's that's. I mean, that's an upside. He actually does go. Yeah, where you they mentioned make that it. before. Move yeah, on. yeah, yeah. So you know, he's a hands-on feller. Uh, his energy drink is actually made from the sweat from his balls. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's why it's salty. <laughs> no carbs. Um, no carbs. <laughs> no carbs. No carbs. A lot of sugar, though. I don't understand it. <laughs> um, what about this color? Oh my god, what is that one called? Whoa, what the hell is that? You. Mustard? Let me interrupt you anyway. Is that what it's called? What is that? What is that color? What is it called? No, what is it called? I don't remember. Oh, fucking. Yeah, this one doesn't remember? have a sticker on the bottom of it. Oh, That's what it's called. How do you know it's even lipstick? Yeah. yeah. So very special sm- order. It's uh, a diarrhea type of shade. It has a weird color. What color it's would weird... you say that is? It's not a there's like a color, ba- another baby color that Monday. I got. That's what I said. It was a uh, baby, baby vomit, baby, yeah. ba- baby diarrhea. It does mm. look like baby shit on your lips. <laughs> That's so weird. And you I run out of no. You run out of wet wipes. You know, this is actually pretty good. I like this segment. I mean, it should be re- Marie's regular. While we actually do the show, she's just putting all these shitty colors on her face. Yeah, but you know <laughs> yeah, what? Yeah. Marie does like like the oddball colors of makeup. She's not throwing the red on and the blue That's eyeshadow. True. Yeah, I'm not they don't look good on me. They're not made for brown girls. They're made for white girls. You're so not like that brown though. You're not like. Yeah, but my skin's brown. not white. It's like olive. I get it. You get are it. super white. I get it. I mean, I have olive yeah, color skin. Super white. Carlos has fair skin. Johnny also has fair skin. But you and I are the olive branch over here. So, so first one was what? Vomit. Throwing what up it? cereal. Throwing up cereal. Throwing up cereal. And then number we had two. Jaded. Super jaded. Or so something jaded. Like that, right? So jaded. Just so like jaded. Aerosmith. And then we had jaded. baby diarrhea. Baby diarrhea. No, it's baby poop. Baby poop. Baby poop. There we go, people. Thanks for tuning in. Go check out Spider-Man No Way Home today. And if you don't. Oh, very disappointed in you. Nightmare Alley. I kind of want to do some Nightmare Alley too. Set me up for failure. So, yeah, well, that's Nightmare that's your Nightmare life. Alley. Um, Nightmare it's a, by Guillermo del Toro, starring Bradley oh, Cooper. Yes. 
Yes, yes, yes. Um, yes. there's three big stars in it. I can't. Uh, sheesh. Was Jennifer Lawrence in that one? No. In, oh, that up. comes out. That's a good one. Also, that looks look good. Up. Good one Netflix. there with uh, yeah, On Christmas Netflix. Day. Leonardo DiCaprio's and Disney's Encanto actually comes at Disney Plus Christmas Eve. Have Ooh. you guys uh, that, that Boba Fett. Have you guys been um, yeah. watching Hawkeye? Yeah, yes. Hawkeye good show. Good. Good, 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 I good. really like yeah. it. Yeah, the bad guy. Is spoiler alert! Of course, you have seen it already because it is already see, Friday. I didn't. I didn't I didn't see it. So spoiler. Yeah, it's not, it's, stop, it's stop, sh- 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 spoiler. Sh- sh- no, you guys no, come. Sh- no, take no, your no, take no, your no, phones no, out. Take them out. Take them out. The um bad guy is Fisk. Actually, doesn't help. You have to edit this goddamn show. Did you say Phil? Uh, no. It's gonna be. uh I said Phil. Fat man, isn't it? It is. The fat man is the main bad guy. Yeah, the fat man. Batman. We already knew this because in the comic, that's how it plays out. Yeah, yeah of the uh, of the Daredevil Marvel series, and uh, it's the same fat man, same fat, right, man, right, same right. actor. So, because right. Kevin Feige came out recently and said that the Netflix shows are part of the MCU now, all of a sudden. Well, I don't know they, what that is, but uh, the Netflix shows, you know, the Daredevil. Charlie Cox. Oh, Daredevil. I mean, I haven't, I haven't seen any of them. Oh, you got to watch Daredevil. Season one and two are excellent. Punisher season Punisher's, one is well, the, fantastic. Punisher is what makes Daredevil season two. Yeah, it's all about the Punisher. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. but Punisher season one is awesome. Season very two, good, very good. Yeah, 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 yeah. it could be better. It could be better. Well, I mean, I, I don't need to watch that to know what's going on in Hawkeye, right? Or no, 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 no. No, but uh, Charlie Cox, who plays uh, Matt Murdock, aka Daredevil, is in the new Spider-Man movie. He's Spider-Man's lawyer. Yeah. Huh. Spoiler alert. Well, it's in the previews, so yeah. It's There's not, quick, one more not in the preview. Okay. Well, they put a picture out like a month ago of them. Remember at the dinner table? It was a oh, kind right, of, right. I saw a, the a promo sure, piece. Sure, sure. Yeah, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. I thought Jay Leno would say it. So, so anyways, anyway. uh, Haw- Hawkeye, it's a Christmas show. It is a Christmas show, though. You're correct. It is. Oh, a Christmas look show. at this guy. Look it at this guy. Show. Yeah, He's ahead of the show. time. Next week, we're talking Christmas movies and things. Yeah, it's a Christmas good show. Job, so job, tune in guys. next week for the Christmas show here on Nurse Talking the Podcast. What color is that, Marie, before we go? What yeah, what color is that? Candy ass. Candy, candy ass. ass. That's a rock color. Oh, nice. <laughs> good one. Where's oh, I now I know what color the first one. The Do one you turned the boot sideways. No, no, no. The color before <laughs> this one was Rudy Poo. Oh, yeah, oh, that's right. Rudy, Rudy Poo. Candy ass. Candy yes. ass. Well Rudy done, Poo, Marie. Jaboni. Well I'll done. Turn my boot sideways. I named these. Right. Yeah. Oh. I had no so, idea The Rock had a makeup line. He does. The Rock does it well, all. He, he does well, it all. Does when it all. When you get a chance, just look at the best of The Rock's interviews on YouTube. Oh, my God. They're you so won't good. be disappointed. I have the DVD. You will not be disappointed. I love it. I love it. The, just the best. The Remember the guitar uh, playing in Sacramento? Oh. That was good stuff. <laughs> yeah. So good. Oh, I mean, he, had when, so when he rocks. plays the heel... Oh. oh yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a it's such a fun heel. And when he just... was uh, the leader of the nation of domination. Look, man. <laughs> oh my god. I'm gonna tell you, <laughs> the Rock the Wrestler. <laughs> Rock the Wrestler. When he did all his impressions and all his, you know, all his, I don't know, all his craziness on on in the middle of the ring and all his microphone work. Rock the Wrestler is a much better actor than Rock the Actor. Actually, that's what changes career though, and he says that. He says when he first got into Hollywood. Remember when he did that movie? Is it Tooth Fairy? The run the one. No, no, no. Runda. What's the one where you played the hockey player or the football player, whatever it is? The there's there's or, two different ones. There's a game plan where he's a football player oh, and then Tooth Fairy like, where he's Tooth a, Fairy is a hockey one. It might hockey. be Tooth Fairy. It's the one where he lost a lot of weight. I mean, he looked like he cut a ton of weight. He probably weighed like 200 pounds. And uh, anyway, that he may have been that, Tooth Fairy. He said that's what Hollywood kept telling him to do. All his all his managers, everybody. You can't use the name The Rock. You have to be Dwayne Johnson until somebody told him, no, no. You're only here because of wrestling. You got to be that guy. You're the rock. And he said that's when right. he changed everything. He no longer cared about people's opinions. He went back to being super bulky. And he said it was pain and gain that made him realize this is just who I am. I'm not, I am not, you know, Hollywood. I'm the rock. And he said, you know, that's what I got to use. But that's I'm just it. He's not the rock. I mean, his characters in movies are not. Well, he can't the be rock, the, the rock. Wrestler. Right. But rock the wrestler, like I said, is a better actor. Well, rock, because he's actor. playing a character, even though as the rock, he's playing. But the I'm, rock. No, but I'm just saying in wrestling, he just seemed a little more carefree, a little more. I don't well, care. Yeah, because my he's thing. also in front of an audience that he knows how to you know. He knows I mean, you're, you're living, he relates living off... to the rock more. Yeah, exactly. Like he like 
the, that character of the rock it's he's super comfortable as that character you know he can't right. be that character right, in right, every right. Movie. he's super comfortable in his skin you as know, the rock he was the rock in the scorpion king basically mm. you know very uh, all loose. the drag queens say that they're a lot more confident and comfortable in drag in person not like well in yeah person, because it's like right. because to- there's someone like else when, when we talked about the la comic-con we did people come to those dressed up because that's their comfort level they can actually they feel like that's who they are this is me out i'm not an introvert when i'm here i'm out and about they can't I'm- they don't you have know, to hide who exactly, they are. Exactly, exactly. It's how The Rock hides everything in his life. He's never public at all. Anyway, that's our show. Thanks for tuning in, Rocky. Johnny's super confused. What? Well, he, <laughs> sh- he shot me out one time. Well, you turned Johnny into the fucking Undertaker just now. His I eyes know, it says eyes rolled back. back. His head, like, yeah, what? Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, about? I mean, you're speaking Rest gibberish. Talking Jeez. shit about the rock. The first one, we awesome. a, we've already done a rock episode. We, we, I, I get that. Why does the rock so always show up every fifth episode? <laughs> Look, let's pick up. this up in three weeks. A oh rock episode. Johnny wasn't on the rock episode. No, not another rock so episode. We'll pick this up in three weeks, possibly. Oh, Rudy Poo. Why don't we just Andy ass? Marie's represented both colors. Why don't we just edit Johnny into that episode. That's all. Crying <laughs> like a little baby in the background. I'm, I'm pretty sure I was on that episode. The rock guy. No, uh, the episode had a guest about talking about steroids and we were all talking about how The Rock is on steroids. You oh, I, I heard that one. You know, I yeah. didn't say he was on steroids, okay? So, uh, he's well, on Zoa. I don't know. And <laughs> and Zoa, Zoa is what gives him his... Uh, all right there we go people thanks for tuning in again it's the second time of me trying to end this damn show tune in next week Johnny. oh here we go she doesn't even know the show's (laughs) over she now she wants to talk (laughs) go put on makeup marie call that a night huh don't don't cut her off what's up marie say something oh no i was just saying that because lafayette cut you off oh oh that's just so that's it that's it Mm -hmm. that's all you got to say all right here we go Thanks for tuning in to Nerds Talk in the podcast. Remember, tune in next week for our Christmas special. It's all four of us again. It's going to be fantastic fun. And um, that's pretty much it. So for Marie. Bye. For Johnny. See ya. For Carlos. Bye-bye. And I'm Lafayette. Remember, Spider-Man people, goddamn you, you better watch that movie. And we will report back to you when we see it. See you next time on Nerds Talk in the podcast.